Good afternoon everyone, just a thought to do a little afternoon walk, it's lovely and sunny, bit breezy though, but I thought I'd show Bron's little jacket off out in the sunshine while well, he's fiddling about snipping. I will um, just tag some people. Yeah, so I hope everybody's having a really good day. Hope you are getting the sunshine as well. So I was going to take a little walk to the the park, but I've decided not to because <laughs> my trainers are talking to me. <laughs> so I'll get some super glue and I'll fix them up again quite easily. But yeah, notifications. I've got the cannon with me. Let's see if there's any. It's always good to keep it when you go out, is always keep it on. This is just never know when a picture is going to get needed. Come on, Missy, you're spending like too long in one spot. Oberon, come on, stop that behaviour. So it's just a little walk. Oh, be every time I turn. I got an update, um, you know, in the memories today. And it was that one where Oberon got covered in human poo. Or he covered himself in human poo. And I had to de drag him into the sea to give him a bloody good wash. Oh, I couldn't get the bus that day. I had to de walk back up the hill because Oberon just stank the whole place. I got most of it off, but. When I get back to my sister's flat, I just had to, to really scrub him. <laughs> that little boy was talking about Obi there. That dog doesn't look right, mummy. <laughs> doesn't realise he's got a... Uh, most of the dogs up here all have fur. That's a nice dog. That's oak as well. You can tell it's oak by the bottom of it and it's solid wood. Oh, that's spare wood there. Good thing. Too lazy to cock your leg, eh? Near the raven. I do love the birds up here. Do love raven. Not ravens, a crow, sorry. All the crows together. Like I say, we've got a bit of a wind blowing at the moment, so I don't know if you're probably hearing the wind in the background. <laughs> oh, look, they nearly went flying there. Over there, the horses are all out, and so this is my favourite garden, number 13. Makes me feel like it's alpine. -y. That's silver birch there. They make good bows, but I know the people in there utilise everything that they've got. It looks like uh, some sort of bird feeder. Now where they plant it into the ground. No, 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 no. I know where that's for. They use that for, um... Hi, Anita. They use that for, um, peas. Yeah, the peas can climb up it. Oh, this has got to the number two. I'll just quickly... I didn't prepare a bag, did I? As per usual. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I have got a bag. Oh. 
I have to go down to the ground anyway because um, I just dropped the lead to the thing. Fix it up in a second. So how's Canic Chase? I hope you are getting a bit of sunshine in here. Back into the holder. Hold that second, Obi. There we are. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a garden that I could really use it on. But yeah, it, it, it's meant for trailing lights, uh, sweet peas, and stuff like that. It's like a trellis. I mean, they're actually really expensive. And there's a composting bin. Nice size as well, but I've got a compost bin. And my garden's no any good looking. Because I want to move from Sussex, I don't want to be getting more crap in. <laughs> I was going to take a walk to the park and eat a but look, the trainer. It's talking. I didn't realise it. I felt when I was walking down the hill, I felt this feels a bit scraped because I always pick my feet up. I don't drag my feet or anything. It's all part of do with proper posture. I'm like, why is it doing that? And then I look down. What I'll do is I'll stick some super glue on it. Super glue will do the trick. Or else I'll, I'll think me I'll use them, what do you call it? Duct tape on it until I get another pair. And this is the thing is, we all the charity shops and stuff closed. Because usually I just buy footwear from the charity shop. I do like to wear proper, proper shoes, not the cheap ones. But yeah. <laughs> Very cold and windy. Do you know, it's really windy here, but the, the We've got very little, well, we've got a bit more cloud cover now, but an hour ago we had absolute blinding sunshine. But as you can see, if you look at the, the, the lead is getting blown in a bow shape. Oh, be, oh, be. I put one of my memories up to the eater of Oberon and I was thinking about it the other day that, you know, dogs roll and fox poo and cow poo and everything. Oberon went one better and rolled in human poo. And I had to drag his little sorry arse into the sea to clean him. And those, that story came up today in my memory. So I recopied the pictures and I might show them on the show tonight just to show exactly why he is the king of the TTJDs. It's a bit of terror juvenile delinquents. Oh, thanks, Le thanks, Anita. Oh, that's really sweet. And it's Easter this Sunday, isn't it? I always look forward to your cards. I must admit, I. I never pack the cards away because I, I utilise my, um, what do you call it, my um, my curtains. I always put cards on the curtains because your cards are always very spot on. It's either lavender or it's the sea or a mixture of other things. Always very uplifting and I always like to keep things that are uplifting close to me. And usually when I'm reading. I'll sit on my computer desk, put a bit of music on in the background and because I'm reading the Mystic 411, because it can be quite a heavy subject, I love that tree. That tree's got such a beautiful vibration. 
and as you can tell it's been very well manicured and looked after. Makes me think of the world tree. There's a tree in Sweden and Lapland that I've seen and it's some similar to that but much 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 older and it's the only tree within miles and it sits in a field by itself at some point I'm going to get a card reader not a card reader a negative scanner for all my 35 millimeter I think I've got most of the negatives and I think somewhere in there will be the world tree that I saw in Sweden, Stockholm. No post tomorrow is by... Oh yeah! No post Monday. Thank you, Harley. So we'll be... Yeah, the, do you know, um, it's Good Friday tomorrow, isn't it? Really? Good, yeah, Good Friday. That, I might ask these people if they've got if they want to chuck that away because I can make shelving out of that. You know I've got those two alcoves in the front room. But then again I want to move. And I think I'm probably going to be moving to Wales. Because me and Liz we've been um, looking at some of the councils in Caffilly. They don't have a waiting list. They've got properties ready for people. So, I think probably because it's Good Friday and stuff, I'll contact the council probably next week and I'll say to them about help me removal fees and stuff and then start the ball rolling there because I feel like I want to go somewhere different. I mean, one thing that sticks in my mind all the time after me and Jacqueline finished with each other, I was dumped back in Brighton. And I don't want to feel dumped in Brighton, I want to move on and sort of like do something else. And one thing about Wales that a lot of people don't realise is history is as deep as Scotland's and as deep as Cornwall. Devon, because I love Cornwall, Devon, but I've extensively um, visited those areas over the years. But I've never, ever travelled around Wales, and I think that's a shame because they've got their own stone circles, their own barrows, and they also say that's where um, King Arthur's buried, isn't it? It's Wales. Unless stays in the, the shadow of the mountains. So that's something worth looking forward to. But yeah, a new start. I was going to go into the city, but in order to get into the city, you have to go first thing in the morning. And the reason being as yesterday I was right not to go into the city. Absolutely packed. Which is um gonna lead to a third lead, lead to a third lockdown. Or we don't sniff other dogs poo. I don't like that. But yeah, this is the crest. This is where the wind whips round from the sea cause that's the exposed sea down there, so it just comes up. I watch around. Sometimes you can you can hear the wind talk. It's interesting. And I've got all the daffies. I find I, I like daffodils, but apparently they're very poisonous for dogs. You get crocuses, tulips. I like the colour. I like the colour of that house. I'll log off now, I'm just about to go around the corner because as soon as I go around this corner I'm just going to get battered by the wind because
because that's where it's most strongest, right? The corner of St. Patrick's Chapel. Always the strongest. Well, actually, it might not be. Let me just check. I'll sit in the wall for a second. And that's all boarded off at the moment, the pathway. Now, I know last year they actually fixed that pathway up. So I don't know why they've roped it off. It might be due to the fact that they're, they're resurfacing all the pavement around Cowley Drive, as you can see. Oh, like we do. And that's paracord they're using for that. Don't know why they've cut it. Oh, maybe it's to do with the painting. The white paint, that's, that's new, that's clean. You can tell her it's nice and bright. That's probably what that rope's there for. But that's climbing rope. That stuff's bloody expensive. Like paracord. Ah, the one's died down. You see all the horses on the field at the back? Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Lovely horses. It's so cute. Join me in a hot tea. I've got my um I've got my little flask. What's that in the middle of the road there? Oh it's like a cat bed or something like that. <laughs> I'm going to touch that. Not with a bad support. Uh, yeah, I think it's a, like a cat's bed. Somebody's dropped a cat's bed. <laughs> yeah. When they had that plane around yesterday, look how clear, clean the, 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 pave, the, the road looks. They took the, the top strip of the top. Ready for the, the next stage, which is when they resurface it. I really like watching the machine at work. The whole crowd just getting the earthquake. Yeah, getting the, the strong wind now. Anyway, I'll head off. God, just head down, as you can tell. I'm just no more than 50 from the flat. So I'll speak to you all a bit later tonight. Tonight I'm going to do a little more trimming on the hair on the legs. That was the first stage because the hair's still pretty long as you can tell. And we'll get that all fixed out tonight, get it a bit shorter. Yeah, see how far we get. Anyway, thanks for watching Anita. I will speak to you later. You take care. Have a good day everyone. And I hope the sun shines for you all. So.